Hey guys, what's up? Paladin here. Paladin's rocking the mic and 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 doing a bunch of other. I couldn't make part nine today. Okay, I'm sorry for Halo Reach, but anyways, so to make a video today, hopefully by today, hopefully it gets uploaded by today. Um, I just wanted to quickly sum up something. I don't know why people think this, but um, some I've got in <laughs> AMD. Uh, opened up right here with the whole Tress FX shit, and I've got uh, PhysX right here. All right. Now, firstly, uh, I feel like I'm gonna get so many hate comments on this fucking video just for no reason because of fanboyism. But anyways, um, I like AMD and Nvidia. I'm just gonna point that out. I like both. I'm not biased towards any one of them. I'm actually deciding on a graphics card right now. I'm having a very hard time doing that because I like both of them so much. But anyways, um, uh, if you're wanting to know, my budget for a graphics card is roughly like I'd rather not go over four hundred dollars. Uh, definitely not hitting 600, so I'm not going to get a, a 780 or anything like that, or a 7990, but anyways, moving on. Um, people think that because you've got an AMD card, you can't run PhysX. That is not true. Um, I might as well go on the PhysX page. <laughs> that is not true. Uh, I don't even know, do they have a supported GPU list here? Okay, see, they show all their cards, it's kind of funny, so you don't... Are you serious? They don't show, uh, they're not going to show any Radeon cards on their site? Because even though your fans like your cards, it would probably be a smart idea to... Wow. That's depressing. They're not even going to probably show up on the last page either. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's so dumb. But, uh, I'm going to point out something here. Uh, the... The, um, physics. Physics can be run on AMD cards, on Radeon HD cards, okay? What happens is, is you download a driver for physics, um, which I think it may actually be right here. So, is this, uh, I'm not sure. I just downloaded it. Actually, I could go back to that page if you'd like to see. Uh, click, 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 come on. Uh, Okay, so yeah, I downloaded it here. Um, this is the PhysX. Um, go back again. I said go back, bitch. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is the PhysX download drivers page, Majigger. Um, I will actually copy and paste this. Um, so I'm gonna copy this and paste it in the description for for anybody that has an AMD card. Um, or actually, I think you still need to download this even though you've got an NVIDIA card, I'm not sure. But anyways, so you download this, and it makes physics run off of your CPU if you have an AMD card. If you have a Radeon card, physics will run off your CPU. You need a pretty good CPU if you want physics to run on high. Um, I'd recommend at least over a quad core, a quad core or higher, I mean, uh, like a really good quad core, like a fucking... Uh, any Intel quad core should do, um, but, uh, like an i5 or higher, uh, preferably third or fourth gen, but, um, moving on, uh, for AMD, I'd say probably an FX, uh, 40, I don't, I don't want to get it wrong, 4,000, is it 4,350? Is that 4350? Is that what it that is? Is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> but you want a 4000, the, the newest 4000 <laughs> FX series processor. You want that or higher. I'd recommend honestly a a, a 6350 or higher. But anyways, uh, just to make sure it doesn't bottleneck or anything. But um, moving on. It's not even that expensive. Again, moving on though. <laughs> uh, yes, you can run PhysX on Radeon cards, it just runs off your CPU. Now, for TressFX, again, you can run it on an NVIDIA cards. It's not like you can't. I don't know exactly the process, because I haven't really looked into TressFX that much. I do know it's pretty cool, though, because, you know, they, they have a picture right here. You know, the hair is all nice, and the graphics kind of look a bit more. The shading looks a bit better with the TressFX, too. But, um, moving on. 
you see right around here, the shading is a bit better. But moving on, um, uh, they show you right here that if you have Tress Effects turned on, uh, and you compare it to an NVIDIA card, the NVIDIA card will not handle Tress Effects uh, that well. I think these are kind of overdone charts, though. I'm going to point that out. I don't really think it's that. I don't think the GTX 680 runs Tomb Raider Ultimate on uh, 1080p and only 35 frames per second. I'm going to I'm gonna call bullshit on that. I think it's at least 45. But moving on. Um, if this is true, if you're an NVIDIA guy... No, I wouldn't say because it's still fanboy. I don't know. If you're a guy that's not biased... And you've done this before. If you tested this before, if this is true, then it's true. But anyways, um, you know, they show it right here actually that the GTX 670 and all these GTX cards, even the newest ones of the 700 series, they can run Tress FX just not as well as the Radeon cards. The Radeon cards, uh, do not buy a uh, <laughs> 650 Ti, uh. I don't even understand how the 650 with the 650 Ti couldn't. That's weird. But uh, anyways, I, that's why I think this is kind of a biased thing from AMD. But anyways, uh, so yeah, it uh, dad ass though. But anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. Mm, but anyways, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, the Tress FX can run on Nvidia cards and the fucking the the physex can run on Radeon cards. It'll just run on its CPU. I'm not sure about Tress FX if it runs on your CPU or not for Nvidia. I imagine it doesn't, considering the if what if, if this is true, what happens is, is the graphics card probably tries to run Tress FX even though there's no drivers for it. I don't believe. I'm still kind of new to the graphics card department here, but uh, you know, in in the news and all that. But, uh, this is all factual, because I have a Radeon card currently in my computer. It's a very old one, which is why I need to replace it. But, it, um, it runs, it can run PhysX. Like, it just runs on my CPU, which I'm gonna also upgrade, but moving on. So I hope that was informational to you guys, at least, or at least answered your question. I just, I see it all the time. People are like, you can't run... PhysX on Radeon cards, or you can't run TressFX, uh, more of, more so of the PhysX, but you can't run TressFX on, you know, um, NVIDIA card. No, you can run, you can totally, you totally can. It's just with NVIDIA cards, the NVIDIA, the, the FPS will lower a bit, and with Radeon cards, it just needs to run on the CPU. As to why AMD is kind of being a little douchebaggy and not putting out drivers for NVIDIA cards, as NVIDIA cards are actually putting out drivers for their competition to use, I'm not exactly sure why. I already know I'm going to get dislikes on this video because of fanboys, but damn, I had to make this video. I'm seeing those comments every single time I look up a graphics card on YouTube to, to think more about what I want to buy is ridiculous, okay? People think that you can't run PhysX on Radeon cards. That's just not true. People think you can't run Trust FX on NVIDIA cards. That's not true. It'll, go, it'll be slower on NVIDIA cards. But it's just simply not true. They will run. That is the final answer. All right. Now, y'all people, y'all, my boys, my my knights, because I'm paladin, y'all know, just stay sexy, peace. <laughs> See you guys later.